Blessings, blessings, people of God. Listen, I just jumped on here real quick. Listen, today is December 31st. The last, this is going to be the last video of the year. December 31st. This is the last day of the year until we enter into that new era, that new decade, that new dispensation, that new place. 2021 is quickly approaching in 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 the matter of a couple hours we will be in 2021 to the glory of God you see uh, through all the tests, through all the trials through all the tribulations that 2020 has brought I am here to tell you if you are watching this video, you have a lot to give glory for. I have a lot to give glory for. Yes, at times this year was trying. Yes, at times this, this year brought tribulations and tests and trials and things of that nature. But the fact that you're still here, the fact that you made it to this point, to the glory of God, you have so much to give God glory for. You have so much to give Him praise for because the reality of the matter is that some people didn't make it. Some people didn't make it out of 2020, but you did. So give God some praise, give him some glory, give him some worship because he's good. Somebody just say, thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you graced me to make it, that you graced me to, to make it out of this year. My goodness. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I just came on real quick just to release this word that the Lord put in my spirit. Understand this, people of God. There are some things that even as there's only a couple hours left until 2021 that you can't take with you. Understand this. The higher you go, the more you go up, the less you can take with you. Am I speaking? Can I read you a scripture just real, real quick? It says this, Hebrews, because I like giving scripture. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. And I'll read, I'll read verse 1. And it says this, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, hear me, let us, weigh, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Understand this, people of God. There's weights and there's sins. And going into this next decade, you need to go light. Woo. You need to go light. Now everybody can go with you. Not everything can go with you. Not every mindset. I even hear that. Not every mindset can go with you into that next year, into that next decade, into that next dispensation. Because the higher you go up, the less you can take with you. So what am I trying to say? For the year 2021, going into 2021, look to Jesus. I'm, I'm giving the word right now. Look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith but also lighten the load. Disconnect. Con disconnect from the things, the people, the places, the mindsets that ensnares you, that tangles you up, and look onto Jesus. Disconnect from the things of this world. Disconnect from the sin of this world, the lust of the flesh of this world, the things that keep you away from God, and connect to the source. I feel that Holy Spirit. Connect to the Holy Spirit. Connect to the source. You see, because when you're connected to the source, he will provide you with the right resources. Am I speaking? Disconnect. Disconnect. Hear me. This is baggage right here. This right here can't go with you into 2021. Unforgiveness can't go with you into 2021. Gossip can't go with you into 2021. Envy and pride and greed can't go with you into 2021. Listen, lust can't go with you into 
2021. Fear can't go with you into 2021. Understand this. You got to lighten the load. You have to lighten the load. You have to open up your spirit to God and take all the things, all the trash, all the garbage that is going to prevent you from getting to that next place in God in the next year to come. And you need to take the baggage and you need to throw it away and say, Lord, purge me as I go into this new year because I want to start it off right. Because I want to start it off with you. I want to start it off in alignment with you. So let go of the lust. Let go of the fear. Let go of the gossip. Let go of the laziness. Let go of the gluttony. Let go of the things, unforgiveness, the things that will hold you back from all that God has for you. I'm not promising you that everything in 2021 is going to be peaches and cream. I'm not saying that. But as long as you're in the boat, know that God will take care of you. As long as you're abiding in him, know that he has your back. When 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 a thousand fall at your right hand and 10,000 at your left, know that if if you're in the boat, if you're walking with God, he has your back and whatever he allows to happen, understand that nothing catches him by surprise and he is still ultimately in control. So the word of the Lord for 2021 is to follow Jesus. Look unto Jesus, but lighten the load. Disconnect. What do you have to lay aside before crossing over into 2021? 2021 is going to be an amazing year. It's not going to be a perfect year. You know, tests may come, trials may come, but as long as you're following the cloud, as long as you're looking onto Jesus, as long as you're willing to, you're willing to say, God, I give this to you because you want to advance, because you want to get closer to God, because you want to advance in God, you must do this. You must do this. So I encourage everybody to, 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 to examine their hearts, examine their motives, examine their life before entering into 2021 and ask the Lord. Don't take my word for it. Ask the Lord. Say, Lord, is there anything I need to put before your altar before I cross over? Is there anything I need to do? Is there anything you're requiring of me to do before I cross over? So I bless you all in the name of the Lord. I pray that that as you go into 2021, that God shall exceed your expectations, that God should open up the floodgates over your life. 2020, 20, 2021, woo, my words. 2021, to God be the glory. I believe it's going to be an amazing year for the body of Christ, for the people of God. In Jesus' name, so I bless you all. I pray that you have a fantastic evening and that you're excited for what God is going to do in this upcoming year. Bless you guys. I love you all with the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Take care, guys.